So as always, I first washed all the parts in warm soapy water and left them to air dry. This time I experimented with a new set of Camlin acrylic paints and used Veridian hue and white to achieve the cockpit green and then painted the cockpit tub and detailed the cockpit interiors. Once this dried, I used various shades of Fevicryl paints to detail the cockpit switches and controls and then started working on the seat. The seat supplied with the kit is pretty detailed and realistic. I painted the seat olive drab and highlighted the seat belts with sand color. The next step was to attach the seats to the cockpit tub and work on the instrument panel. The instrument panel deco was very detailed and gave a very realistic look to the cockpit once finished. I had decided to use rocket launchers as the final weapon of choice and so I began assembling them alongside working on the fuselage halves, which were filled with Play-Doh to add some weights in the finished model. The fuselage halves were joined and then the air brakes, the centerline drop tank, the wings and the horizontal stabilizers were worked upon. Finally the rocket launchers were attached to the wing hard points and the hard points attached to the wings in turn and I began with the main assembly of the aircraft. I was surprised the kit required no filler whatsoever. This time I tried a rattle can spray of silver from a company called 4S and the silver turned out great on the model. It took just about 30 minutes for the silver to fully cure and then I began working on the contrasting panel shading, which is a trademark of most silver MiG-21s. Once again I experimented with the Camlin black and white acrylic paints to achieve a light grey shading. I then painted the underside spoiler with Fevicryl sap green and the nose cone and pitot tube with Fevicryl crimson red. I used Fevicryl copper and Fevicryl rust to paint the rear end of the afterburner exhaust just to give it a different look and enhance the exhaust. I left all that to air dry and began working on detailing the edges of the canopy. This was again achieved with Camelin paints and I must give a verdict here about the paints. I recommend these paints as they are excellent and leave a flat finish once they are dry. It was then time for the decals. The decals were really high quality and in good register and they confirmed nicely to the surface of the model. As always, I applied watered down PVA glue to the place where the decal was supposed to be applied and then dipped the decal in warm water for 20 to 30 seconds. Once the decal softened up, I slid it off from the paper with a soft brush onto the final position and wiped off the excess with a cotton Q-tip. And here is the MiG-21 F-13 Fishbit C, number 737 of Jagdgeschwader 3 or Fighter Squadron 3, flown by East German cosmonaut and fighter pilot Sigmund Yen in 1963. Though historically, Sigmund Yen was a fighter pilot with the People's Democratic Republic of East Germany, but he did not fly this particular MiG-21 F-13 serial number 737, but right outside his hometown where he was born, an aviation museum has been opened where this particular aircraft has been placed as a tribute 
to Sigmund Yen's service to the fatherland and recognize his contribution to space research. I was initially very skeptical if I could achieve a smooth silver bare metal finish, but as you can see here, it turned out nice. I did not weather this model at all as the original aircraft outside the museum is also very well maintained, clean and pristine. So that's it ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and click the like button and subscribe if you liked my video. Till the next time then, this is Sherbir signing off. Thank you very much for watching, goodbye and happy modeling.